In this question, we're given the transfer function of a discrete time LTI system, H of Z. And we're asked for the impulse response. So the impulse response is H of N. And that would be the inverse Z transform of the transfer function. So we're given a table of Z transforms, and we can simply look in the table, and we'd be looking in the right-hand column. We're looking for something that looks like our function H of Z. And the closest thing we have is this last one here. So this looks exactly like H of Z there. And if we look carefully, we see that the constant omega, the frequency, would be 100 in order for these two to be equivalent. So the time domain function, h of n, would simply be a cosine. So h of n equals cosine 100, that's your omega, n, multiplied by a unit step to make sure that this is a causal signal or a causal system. So that there, that's my impulse response, h of n. We've got that straight from the table there. Now, part b asks for a particular value, h of 20. So what's the value of h of n when n happens to be 20? So all we need to do is substitute 20 there and there. So you're looking for cosine 100 times 20. Now u of 20 is simply going to be 1. And cosine 20 times 100 is minus 0 0.3675. But make sure your calculator is set in radians. Otherwise, otherwise you wouldn't get the correct answer there. So that's your final answer for part A and B.